Namaste wa assalam alaikum dosto. I want to show you the situation of our motorcycling brothers across the border here in Pakistan. It is quite, quite different to India. As you can see from the selection of motorbikes behind us, that's a joke. It's quite sad. There's only one bike behind us, okay? And you will see this bike all across Pakistan. It's basically the only bike you're gonna see, and I'll talk a little bit about these models too. There's actually three models here. So one is the original, and two are the fake copies from China. So Pakistan doesn't have a massive array of motorcycles like we do have in India, because they don't have a huge local manufacturer. Like in India, we have Royal Enfield, right? We have the full array of Royal Enfield bikes. We are so lucky in India. Then we have other international manufacturers like KTM building bikes in India as well. And we can buy those for really, really amazing prices. But here in Pakistan, you just have the CD70 or the CD125, which I'll show you soon. And then you have its clones as well. So let's, let's have a walk around the CD70. This is the bike you're gonna see all over Pakistan. It is basically for family use. This is the workhorse you can fit I've seen six people have been fit on this bike. You can have a baby here, dad driving, couple of, a couple of daughters here, and then the mum at the back here, and they all kind of get, get sandwiched in like that. It is 70 cc. You have a tiny, tiny motor down here. You have drum brakes. It's kickstart as well. It weighs 80 kgs, so it's extremely light. My Kawasaki Versys back home in New Zealand, that's like 210 kgs. And top speed is, they say 90 kilometers an hour, but I don't know about that. I can see it getting to like 70 or 80. But yeah, apparently you can get this to 90. The speedo goes up to, to 120 though. Just super, super basic, right? But this is the most popular motorcycle across Pakistan, no doubt about it. It costs about 80,000 Pakistani rupees, which is, it's just nothing. That's like 40,000 Indian rupees, okay? And because this bike is so ubiquitous in Pakistan, you can't go wrong with getting it repaired. If it breaks down anywhere in Pakistan, there's always a mechanic on every single corner who's gonna know how to fix it. Just like Royal Enfield bikes back home in India as well. Good luck trying to get, you know, an imported, Kawasaki or some big bore Suzuki fix, like not gonna happen. This can be fixed literally anywhere in Pakistan. And I just wanna show you, so it's Honda, but they put a tagline here, okay? It says cash deposit 70. That's what CD stands for in 70. And I thought, I didn't realize this was actual, this is real branding from Honda. And they say cash deposit because you could just sell these bikes anytime you wanna get rid of it. They are that popular and in that much demand here in Pakistan. So they literally call it cash deposit 70. There's not much more to say about this bike. Let's go around to a couple of the counterfeit bikes which came around after these bikes got so popular. Now here, we have the Road Prince and their tagline is cash forever 70. And these knuckly bikes from China, they cost like 40,000 rupees and the original Honda cost 80,000 rupees. So yeah, basically half the price for a Chinese clone of this bike. And it is exactly the same, okay? Everything is the same in this bike. You, it's, it's just, it's so impossible to tell them apart on the road. They'll even sometimes put the Honda logo at the back here. Yeah, this one, come, come check out the back here. So this isn't a Honda, but you know, it even says Honda at the back, it is, is road prints. Okay, there's, there's Ravi as well. I just want to show you how damn similar they are, all right? So this one says Honda right there, right? On the Speedo. Now we come over, this is the CD70. Now this is the Road Prince RP70. And just look, look what they've written on the Speedo. See, Speedo is basically the same, but it says Hundo. What the f is Hundo? That is China for you, Hundo. And you can see just kind of how similar these bikes are, right? Yeah, the Road Prince has a bit of a paint job, but that, that's a special paint job he's put on there, actually those kind of American stripes. You can see the motor is so similar. 
Come across to the motor here. So, so similar, guys. The lights, the light unit may even be exactly the same. That's a Honda, and this is the Road Prince Hundo. Like, it's exactly the same, right? Like, these Chinese kits have just literally cloned everything, even down to the gas tank. Look at that cap, and then look at this cap. Like, exactly the same, right? Zero difference. Tail light set up, and then knuckly tail light set up as well. And the Road Prince guys even put Honda on the back. At least he spelt it right that time. Not Hundo. And I'll, just, I'll just show you one more. Ravi. Ro, Ravi writes Honda. Not Honda, they write Honda. It's just, it's too much, man. It's too much, these clones. And so this is the other clone as well. This is United, and their tagline is Urgent Sale 70. You can always sell one of these. And again, exactly half the price of the Honda CD70. So yeah, that's how popular this one bike is. You can get imported bikes here, but they are so expensive. Only rich people can afford them. Kind of similar to India as well. There's massive input duties on foreign bikes here in Pakistan and in India. But unfortunately, Pakistan doesn't have amazing local manufacturing. Like, they don't have a Royal Enfield brand. They don't have cheap KTMs or the BMWs that we have locally produced in India. So unfortunately, they're kind of stuck with these bikes. Imagine if they were allowed to buy Royal Enfield bikes and Royal Enfield was allowed to sell here in Pakistan. Imagine how, how good that would be for India and for Pakistani riders as well. Now there is one more option if you want something a little bit more powerful here in Pakistan. This is the CG125. It is the same as the CD, but you've got that 125cc engine, which can take you up to 105 kilometers per hour. And you can see the engine is vertical. It's not horizontal like that. Just, just small differences. And this is the bike that everybody wants, okay? It's like the classic 350 in, in India. This, this is the beast if you want to, you know, own the roads here in Pakistan. This is what I'd be riding if, if I lived here in Pakistan, but I live in India, I live in Delhi, and I've got the Royal Enfield Himalayan. That's what, that's the beast that I ride back home. And people here in Pakistan are customizing their CD70s as well. There's, there's a few funny ones here. So this guy, I don't know why, he's put an Apple logo on the back. He's put a, a, like a couple of hearts for his wife. And then for him, for himself, he's written boss. It says boss on the seat there. And then that's him. You know, the lion, that's him. Rawr. And this guy, this guy's doing something else. He's put some kind of skull and crossbones and written killer across there as well. Then we have some kind of comic book hero here. Black Lizard. I don't know who Black Lizard is, but he's done that. Oh, but this is the saddest one. Come over here, Dosto. This guy's motorcycle says, says, oh my God. <laughs> Alone, but happy. And there's a photo of like a sad boy on it as well. Poor guy, I hope he finds a girlfriend or something to ride on his bike with him or gets married and, you know, gets a family. And it says, it says live to ride and then You've got this style on here. I wonder if he knows what that means. Alone but happy. <laughs> There's one more. I don't know what this one means. Someone's gonna have to translate this for me. But it says full nasha and then he's got alcohol and, and wine which are completely illegal here in Pakistan. A lot of customization options here in Pakistan for your CD70s. So this is the situation of our bros here. In Pakistan, not so exciting, but I guess if I had to choose a bike here, I'm definitely gonna go for the CG125. I'm gonna put some bags on, on the rear so I can take it into the mountains. And you can take the CG125 into the mountains just fine, and I'm pretty sure people would, you know, make do with the Road Prince RP70 as well into the mountains too, so yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you're from Pakistan, what do you guys think of the Royal Enfield bikes? Would you guys love to have those here? In Pakistan, I'm pretty sure you would because, yeah, they're, they're good bikes for, good, for a good price, basically.